Hey guys, welcome to another level two algebra skills playlist. We're looking at logs and putting how to actually put log rules together. So these are the three questions I'm going to be looking at in this short little video. So let's get started. So I hope you guys have actually watched the previous video in this playlist because otherwise this might actually look like a whole bunch of jargon to you. But anyway, we're going to get started. Now, just before we get started, remember those three rules that we actually uh, learned in the previous video. So remember guys, we've actually had the three log rules. So I'm just gonna put them in different colors so you can kind of see which rule uh, I'm actually using when I'm actually solving this particular problem here. So we first we've got half log 81. Now half log 81, I'm gonna use what I've done in that green highlighted formula there, which means I can write half log 81 as log of 81 to the power of half and minus, and I've got log th three times log three. And again, I'm gonna use uh, the green highlighted uh, rule there, which is log 3 to the power of 3. Now, 81 to the power of half is 9, so I can write this as log of 9, minus uh, 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So, I can keep going, and now I'm going to use the blue rule, which is like when we subtract, we're going to have to divide the numbers. So, this actually becomes log of 9 divided by 27, and 9 divided by 27 is simply just written as log of 1 over 3. So what we are basically trying to do is we are trying to rewrite these log expressions to the uh, smallest version possible. All right, now we go to uh, number 2. Uh, number 2 here, we've got 2 log 4. So I've got to use the uh, green, well, the green log formula. So it's going to be written as log to the power of 4 squared plus log of 3, that's just going to be as it is. And then we've got 2 log 2, which would become log of 2 to the power of 2. Now once we get that, what we have is log of 4 squared. So log of 4 squared is going to be 16, plus log of 3, divided by log of 2 squared, which is going to equal 4. Now when we have log 16 and 3, I'm going to be using the yellow version of this formula. So we've got a plus b, which means we're going to do a times b. So we're going to get log of 16 times 3. And that whole thing is divided by log 4. Keep carrying on. I'm going to get log of 48 divided by log of 4. And guys, unfortunately, we can't actually go any further than that. So that's where the answer actually stays. All right, so let's go to question number three. So question number three, what we have is log of one, log of one over 1,000. We're not going to do anything to it. We're just going to leave it as it is, plus log of 10 squared. Now log of 10 squared can be written, I'm just going to get rid of this 1,000, as log of 100. Now what we're going to do is because we're adding two logs, we've actually got to multiply the two numbers. So we're going to end up with log of 100 multiplied by 1 over 1,000, which equals to log of 1 over 10. All right, guys, that's basically it for the combined rules for logs. So, yeah, so just remember that these three colored formulas are actually given to you guys in the exam. So you can just use that to actually simplify the log functions uh, to as small as possible. That's basically it for this video, guys. As always, don't forget to like and share this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe to keep up with the latest content. There should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. And thank you for watching.